Hi guys, I'm back with another video. In today's hair video, I'm going to show you how to make your closure look really natural through how I bleach my closure and the knots on the closure, so stay tuned. So this hair is from Ali Julia Hair. They sent me four bundles and a closure of their Brazilian curly texture, and I got some long legs. So this is what the closure looks like on bleached without anything done to it. As you guys can see, there are black knots that are tied onto the closure. So bleaching the knots consists of turning those black knots into a color that mimics the scalp color so that it looks natural when it's placed on top of the head. So a quick look at the bundles, it was some long bundles, I got some 24 inch bundles and they were the Brazilian curly and I always get really nice thick fluffy full hair from Ali Julia Hair. I've used their curly hair multiple times. So moving on to the utensils needed for this, you're going to need the Clairol Professional Basic White Powder Lightener. So this is a lightener, it's just in a powder form and I get a big tub of this because I use it a lot. Now the main step is getting the Collider Colors Toner Powder. So this toner powder is just going to make sure that we don't have a brassy look and we actually have like a brown look on the closure. So you're also going to need a bowl to put everything in for our mixture as well as a knife. So I usually use a plastic knife but I just couldn't find one so I designated this knife for hair and it's just going to make it easier when spreading the mixture onto the closure. So the first step is taking one scoop of the powder lightener and this is actually more than enough for one closure. You would honestly only need a half a scoop but I was bleaching a lot of closures this day and you're going to pour that into your bowl. So then you take your Collider Colors in Blue which is the toner powder and it's like a blue powder and I would use about a third of that for each closure. So then you need your developer. So I use 30 volume developer. It's right in the middle of all the developers and it just works best when lightening hair to make sure you bleach at a decent pace but you don't bleach it too harshly. So I use the cap to measure out how many I need and I usually take five for each one scoop of the actual bleaching powder. So that's going to be enough to make it the consistency that I need it to be. And you want to make sure that your consistency is not too runny, it's not too liquidy, it's not too watery. You actually want it to be thick. So there's plenty of times when you see videos and the hair bleach is just all over the place and it's really messy. It's because it's way too liquidy. You don't need it to look like that. So you want to mix it up and like I said, you want the consistency to be a thick consistency. Get it to be like a toothpaste type of texture or maybe like a butter type of texture. Nothing that is too runny that comes right off the knife. So here's the closure again, unbleached. The knots are not bleached at all. And we're going to be applying our mixture. So basically like you would butter a piece of toast is the same way that I'm going to kind of butter my closure. So I like to apply it with a light hand. You don't want to be too heavy because you don't want it to seep through so much that it actually bleaches the hair. I actually allow a little bit of seeping just so that it gets like the bottom layer of the roots of the closure just so I know that the actual root is going to be like a good color and it's going to match my scalp so that my closure looks natural. The reason why your closure or your wig doesn't look natural is because nine times out of 10 your knots aren't bleached. So this is just a close up of what it looks like as it's bleaching. As you can see some of the knots are starting to turn brown and this is just the process. So I waited about 25 minutes in when I put this on and I checked it periodically to make sure. You also can use a piece of aluminum foil, put it on top of the actual mixture as it's on the closure and put it under some heat to really expedite the process. So now it's time to rinse everything out. So I just start my water and I prepare to rinse out the mixture. So one thing I do want to keep in mind is when you're rinsing this out, you want to make sure you rinse it out thoroughly. So I use a neutralizing shampoo, which is really good for any hair that's been processed because it restores the pH balance as well as stops the actual processing. So you really want to do that so that your hair is not continuously being bleached or processed after you're done and it's dry and everything. So when you see that the color of the actual shampoo and all of that is pink that shows that your hair is actually has chemical in it so you want to make sure that when you're washing out the hair it ends up being like a clear color once it's all said and done so when you look at it up close as you can see the knots are now brown and the knots are bleached so it's no longer black you're not going to get every piece but for the most part it should have a scalp looking color when you put it against my skin tone this is what it looks like so this is going to make your closure look a lot more natural if you have a closure or a frontal and you're wondering why it doesn't look like your scalp color or it just looks wiggy Try bleaching your knots. I used to never bleach my knots for whatever reason, but once I started doing it consistently, I do it on all my wigs that I sell, all the wigs that I make for myself. It made a huge difference and makes your hair look so much more natural. So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually sew down the closure as you're making your wig. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.